Hello everyone. I once again welcome all of you in the series of video lecture course. Today we are going to study electrophilic substitution on benzene and as such this topic is the last topic of uh, organic of class 11th but we can do it now as if uh, uh, like it doesn't have much of the connection with previous topics and you would be able to understand it very well and since there's intense desire of some of you to upload lectures on electrophilic substitution on benzene so here we go electrophilic substitution electrophilic means something to do with electrophile we will be representing electrophile by e plus generally nucleophile is represented by nu minus electrophile means electron loving Elect electro is coming from electron and phile means love so species which love electron are electrophile and species who are electron deficient they would be loving electrons so we generally either electrophile will be ne a neutral species or it will be a charged species with a plus charge so generally we represent electrophile by E plus now in this reaction there's something to do with E plus electrophile will be coming or electrophile will be initiating the reaction substitution means something will come and something will go something will substitute something that is substitution and we'll see what substitute what and the reaction is mostly on benzene benzene is a stable compound and all the reaction in the in this topic will be on benzene or on benzene derivative so the first question that will pop up in your head if you are thinking at all why electrophilic substitution why not nucleophilic substitution now benzene is a planar molecule having electronic density above and below its plane you must be having a very clear picture of how benzene looks benzene is a six member ring having three pi bonds like this so benzene has a electron cloud above the plane of ring and below the plane of ring like this benzene is highly electron rich it has six electrons in pi bond so it has much of the electronic density loosely held electronic density to offer to any of the electrophile that will be the reason it will be very reactive for incoming electrophile plus a nucleophile will be nucleus loving nucleus has a positive charge so nucleus loving means positive charge loving and species who itself has negative charge will be positive charge loving so nucleophile generally will be having negative charge or it will be having lone pair so definitely it will be electron rich so electron rich species will never approach electron rich species benzene is an electron rich species so benzene is not going to approached by a electron rich species that is nucleophile so nucleophile will never show any kind of reaction with benzene not at at least not substitution reaction there will be one kind of reaction that will be seeing later but nucleophile in general will not show reaction with benzene because nucleophile is electron rich benzene is electron rich there's nothing to happen between nucleophile and benzene so benzene will not be showing a nucleophilic substitution on reaction with nucleophile in general benzene will be reactive with a electrophile which is electron deficient so we are going to see electrophilic substitution on benzene ring the first thing before we proceed ahead benzene is a stable aromatic compound and all the reaction occurs to gain to acquire its stability benzene is already very stable and the most important factor providing stability in organic chemistry is aromaticity so my substrate is already very stable now it will be have very less tendency to show further reaction and to stabilize itself because whatever it will do it cannot be more stabilized than whatever stability it is already having due to aromaticity so aromaticity cannot be compromised because aromaticity provides huge amount of stability so before proceeding ahead in the reaction this has to be bared in mind that aromaticity cannot be broken at any cost we are not going to do anything by breaking aromaticity because in no way we can provide more stability to the molecule by breaking aromat aromaticity so there is no use of any kind of reaction rather no reaction will occur under normal circumstance by breaking the aromaticity of benzene or benzene derivative so if at all benzene is going to so show any kind of reaction 
its aromaticity will always be retained as in the final product so you have, we need to have or we must get aromaticity if aromatic product if my reactant is aromatic if the reactant is aromatic product necessarily have to be aromatic otherwise the reaction in normal circumstance will not occur now what will happen in general benzene is electron rich it has six pi electron it has three pi bond so if a electrophile approaches benzene now benzene will offer its electron to the electrophile benzene is electron rich benzene can provide electron to the electrophile there's no problem the problem is benzene will not provide its electron to the electrophile at the cost of its own aromaticity like what will happen is suppose I have benzene in the system I have electrophile 2 in that system somehow I have created this electrophile we'll see how we'll be creating but for the time being somehow I have created this electrophile and both of them exist inside the system now this is electron deficient it is deficient of two electron and this is electron rich now this electrophile will be approaching benzene from any of the side suppose suppose this electrophile approaches benzene on this carbon this electrophile is approaching benzene on this carbon then due to the field effect field effect means like uh, if the if there is no electrophile near benzene then benzene as such is non-polar but if electrophile will be approaching because of the plus charge on electrophile some negative charge will be accumulated on this carbon so this carbon will start to acquire some negative charge del negative and that negative charge will develop or will be becoming more and more as this electrophile will be approaching it will be more near and near to this benzene ring this is called field effect that means in the field of this electrophile this benzene will become polarized so this end will become del minus if the electrophile would have approached this carbon then this carbon would have been del minus so the electrophile whichever carbon this electrophile is approaching that carbon because of the field effect of electrophile will be acquiring a slight negative charge and that slight negative charge will be developed and that will become more and more as that electrophile become comes near and near to the benzene ring so in turn if suppose this carbon is acquiring negative charge then this carbon will be acquiring slight positive charge so what will happen is as this electrophile approaches benzene ring and it becomes very close to this carbon then there will be substantial amount of negative charge accumulated in the orbital of this carbon and from that and from that orbital negative charge will start to transit from this orbital to the empty orbital of electrophile now this we have talked long time before during perhaps inductive effect that positive charge means empty orbital any electrophile is uh, two electron deficient and our orbital holds maximum of two electron so that means both the electron of that orbital has been drawn out so the orbital of electrophile is empty plus charge signifies empty orbital now because of the field effect suppose let me break this bond and suppose substantial negative charge has been accumulated here then the bond actually left will be very little and the negative charge here and the positive charge here will be grown substantial in the amount so we will be neglecting del and del actually signifies a small charge but here because of the field of electrophile substantial amount of charge will be accumulated and supposedly for the sake of reaction for the sake of convenience for the sake of simplicity in the mechanism we are assuming that the whole of the bond is broken as such the whole bond will not be broken sudden charge will accumulate here so the there will be sudden bond order is still intact but for the sake of convenience let's suppose that the whole of the bond is broken in such a way that the carbon at which the electrophile is approaching acquire negative charge that you can very well understand that will be merely because of the electrocolumbic force of attraction this plus will attract minus so negative charge will approach will be de developed on this carbon and in turn the electronic density since has moved away from this carbon so this carbon will acquire positive charge now here we have electrophile having negative charge and the rest of the two pi bonds will remain as it is here we have electrophile having positive charge here we have carbon having negative charge now this is the electron rich site and this is the electron deficient site here you have a empty orbital 
and here you have a completely filled orbital so there will be an electronic transition from this empty completely filled orbital to empty orbital and this will provide stability to the electrophile because electrophile was a two electron defi deficient of two electron and now it is having some electron deficiency from outer source so this will stabilize electrophile and if I consider both benzene ring and electrophile as a system this will stabilize my system when that will result in evolution of some energy so this is going to stabilize but you don't have to worry about this plus charge because this plus charge is in resonance with these two pi bonds which are in conjugation so this plus charge is quite stable this is more stable than the plus charge on electrophile because on an electrophile perhaps we are not having any resonance this plus charge is resonance is stabilized so overall the system is stabilized there's no problem but the problem is the aromaticity has been broken and by no way we are going to break aromaticity of benzene ring that is not at all our option no matter how high the plus charge is on electrophile no matter how unstable that electrophile is if we are going to stabilize electrophile and break aromaticity then the highly stable factor has been broken so overall like overall this is not a f good deal on our part so stabilizing the electrophile and stabilizing the electrophile and evol evolving some energy is not going to be a profitable business if my aromaticity will be broken so overall I have to pay in this business and I'll be at net loss so rather I'll prefer not to do the reaction and leave that electrophile unstable as it is rather than breaking my own stability that is aromaticity but <coughs> if we can think of something else like the unstability of aromatic electrophile is gone but the stability of benzene ring is intact and that would be the best possible way out and that would be the best thing we can do uh, here so uh, what happens indeed is something like this now we have to regenerate the aromaticity of benzene ring if at all we can regenerate then there's no problem the reaction will proceed if there's no way out to regenerate then the reaction will not proceed so let's see if we can regenerate now what will happen is as the electronic density has transited uh, has transmitted from this orbital to this orbital so there is two electron here there's no electron in this orbital if we put electronic density between these two orbital then between these two orbital there will be two electrons or electronic density corresponding to two electrons so there will be a bond formed between this carbon and this electrophile because for a bond we require two electrons right so to show this in a simplified way we can show this like this will be a bond between this carbon and this electrophile because of the electronic transmission from this orbital to this orbital now this this cation the plus charge on carbon will undergo resonance and in fact we will be having three resonating structure I'm sorry now you must be very handy to draw this resonating structure this plus charge will come here the pi bond which has not been participated in resonance you will show it as it is and then beside plus you will bring minus showing arrow like this the third resonating structure would be like this so there are three resonating structures which is stabilizing the plus charge and this is called as sigma complex this 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 conjugation of this plus charge and this pi bond and this pi bond in a ring this are in, in, in the RDS this intermediate is called sigma complex now because of the formation of sigma complex the plus charge on the ring is a stable the RDS can be crossed out easily now the RDS can be crossed out easily but uh, that's not all we are looking for now what we are looking for and what we are very keen about is we have to regenerate the aromaticity somehow now look at this structure look at this structure and we want to regenerate aromaticity now aromaticity can be regenerated in a six member ring if you have in a neutral six member ring if you have three pi bond 
two pi bond I can see you can see as well now we have to look for a third pi bond a third pi bond will can be generated if we have a pi bond on this position we have a, we can have a pi bond on this position if we can generate somehow a negative charge at this on this carbon because of that negative charge plus minus will form a bond so all I want is I want a negative charge on this carbon now this carbon has been shown with three bond carbon has four bond the fourth valency is fulfilled by hydrogen always whenever it is not shown now now we can generate carbon we can generate a negative charge on this carbon either by re removing hydrogen or by removing electrophile if we remove hydrogen retaining its electron or if we remove hydrogen as H plus then uh, there's a negative charge developed on this carbon or we can remove this electrophile as well back as E plus then also we can have a negative charge on this carbon now there will be a competition between hydrogen and electrophile whichever will be a strong electrophile will be in the substrate which wherever will be a weak electrophile will be removed off now generally H plus is stable if S plus is less stable than E plus then E plus will move out as we will see later so at, at times what will happen is E plus will become more stable than H plus then the stable one have to move out and unstable have to be retained in a bond because unstable electrophile cannot be roaming around in the system it has to participate in the reaction and become neutral